Hey guys, where are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the next seven days for Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarius as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node placement in your birth chart, this reading will be for you. This is a timeless reading, so it's whenever you come across this reading is where it's most likely to resonate for you and not necessarily just when I post it. So if you do happen to see this at a later date, please don't be overly concerned by that as there may still be messages in here for you. This is a general reading, so with the messages, please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. So if the messages of the whole reading uh, resonates, and that's wonderful. But if the messages or the reading doesn't resonate or ring a bell at all, then just kind of discard that, okay, guys? Um, so please use your own sense of discernment with the messages and not force them to fit with a particular situation, okay, guys? So um, also happy Valentine's Day as I'm posting this. Uh, I have done a special Valentine's bonus reading for all zodiac signs where there are individual readings available. Um, that's on the, on the channel as of right now. So if you did want to check out to see what's going on in regards to current energies and feelings for love for Valentine's Day specifically as well. That video is available and there are timestamps in the pinned comments down below and you can check out for your sun, moon, rising or Venus placements for yourself or your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So um, we're going to get into this reading now though. We're using the Modern Witch Tarot today, so thank you for bearing with me. So angels of love and light, we please have clear and concise messages for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node. What do they need to know for the current energies for the next seven days? What's uh, going on at this moment in time? What are the current energies for the next seven days? Please and thank you. Also, please feel free to check out the other zodiac sign uh, readings for the next seven days for other placements in your birth chart so you can receive more messages. Um, that is available to you as well. Okay, cutting up the deck and we'll get into your reading. Thank you for your patience. I feel this one wanted to show through for some reason. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Air sign energy coming through with the Empress. Wow. Taurus and Libra. Um, but we have Divine Feminine energy coming through as well as. I feel this is very, very intriguing, guys. An interesting combination of cards to come through. So um, I'm, I'm picking up on this Venus, okay, this Venus symbol. So some of you may have uh, Venus as your Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or Taurus placements specifically. But I feel like that's just an additional message here. There could be someone maybe romantically here who's interested and they're wanting to talk to you and they're wanting to see whether you're on the same page as them. OK, I feel like this person views you as the Empress, right? Um, and they're coming through as a king, but you could be, um, you know, it could be the other way around, obviously. But I'm reading energy rather than gender or sex, as you guys know. So with this, I'm picking up specifically that there is someone who may have been, um, you know, on their own a little while. OK, you know, they may have recently got out of a commitment, though. And, you know, but before then, they may have been single for quite some time. Um, this person is very, very picky. I'm getting like very um, selective with the type of people that they get themselves involved with. Um, they kind of really want to know someone, you know, to their core, like they really want to get to know this person as in, you know, finding out, you know, what makes them tick type of thing. And not necessarily just in a sensual way, but I am picking up on that energy as well. I feel like someone um, is viewing you as I'm hearing the cream of the crop for some reason. They feel like you're someone who is very special here, very unique. I'm even picking up on this sense of rareness. Um, I'm hearing like a, a true diamond, okay? A true diamond. Someone, you know, someone views you as someone that's gone through a lot, okay? Because diamonds are made um, under pressure and you don't have that sense of that gut that wow okay if i can talk you don't have that diamond without going through certain things so you don't become the empress without going through um trials and tribulations so some of you um you know 
are dealing with a connection whereby someone is viewing you as a life partner here or they see themselves getting married to you um, or potentially having children with each other um, unless you have children already and that's not something that resonates but some of you are if it's not regards to love I'm picking up on you're gaining clarity um, about yourself here you're viewing yourself in a different light and you're seeing how you know unique you are okay you're having a different perspective on yourself i feel like you have been working through on your mindset here i'm getting something to do with affirmations um i'm getting like i'm i'm getting this energy of like looking in the mirror because i feel like you know these two individuals are kind of like staring directly at me so i'm getting the sense of mirror work here for some of you okay and you're going through this glow up or whatever it is that you're doing or saying to yourself is really changing and transforming you know your kind of overall being here okay but also maybe even your physical appearance so i'm getting something to do with um I'm getting glamour magic as well, okay? Um, I don't know why, but I am. So that may be something that resonates. It's not going to be for everyone, but I am picking up on that. So I'm going to say it. Um, I'm also getting this impression that you could be gaining um, clarity in regards to an outcome to do with a legal situation here. Um, you could be feeling, you know, a little bit, run down or upset about something that you're dealing with at this time but i'm getting told that overall for you to not worry and that actually things are going to be working out a lot better for you than you think and feel that they will do i just heard innocent party in all of this okay so some of you if you do definitely resonate with a legal situation or someone has done you wrong here okay i feel justice coming in through um for you as well okay wow the lovers gemini energy see how that flew out guys so yeah definitely have a, a some of you have a very strong soulmate coming in okay maybe a past life connection or a twin flame energy as we did have the divine feminine coming through as well with that empress okay ace of pentacles like i said to you Things working out better than you think and feel that they will. A brand new beginning. Some of you are going to be getting a payout here. Um, a big payout. Something that's unexpected. I'm picking up on that you have um, a community of people who are very supportive of you. And I feel that ultimately these people know that you haven't a hearing got a bad bone in your body okay that you're very kind you're very genuine here <coughs> oh gosh coughing sorry i'm getting something to do with the throat chakra okay we did see the king of swords you know air sign energy can represent the throat chakra um you may be getting called to wear, wear blue here i'm getting um also something to do with lapis lazuli crystal um you may be using that or connecting with that more or you may be guided to um, wear this as a piece of jewellery to assist you here. Um, like a bracelet or a necklace of some sorts. Okay. Or maybe even just having of this crystal to hold, um, you know, whilst you're meditating here. Okay. If that's something that resonates. But look at this with the King of Cups as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we saw with the King of Swords and now Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the King of Cups. So there's there's some sort of major transformation coming here in regards to love. Um, but also I feel like you may have a couple of people interested in you as well, right? And these two people are very different. These two people are very different and you have a choice to make because you're wanting to secure that sense of stability and security in your life and have that sense of emotional fulfillment as well when it comes to a love connection. And I feel like the ball's going to be in your court. Look at that with the magician. You're manifesting, you know, love for yourself and it's coming in. Um, it's taken time to come in, but it is coming in. 
And I feel like there may be someone specifically that's been trying to manifest you specifically, or they've been trying to manifest the true love of their life here, a soulmate. And you've been kind of doing of the same thing potentially. And it's like you're having this alignment and getting together. Okay. Which is really, really beautiful. I'm also feeling as well that like I was touching upon with that legal situation here. Um, you know, this money that comes in is definitely from a big payout to do with a legal situation or money that's, that is going to be owed to you. I feel like you haven't got a fret about that. You're going to you're going to have what you um, deserve. OK, and more. OK, so if there hasn't been a very fair situation that you've dealt with, you're getting you, you're getting some very much positive energy from uh, I'm hearing carrying on through this, even though it can be quite stressful or difficult. Yeah, you're going to be getting good news here with that page of wands. So please don't be overly concerned by that. And yeah, look, we have the King of Swords again. This can also represent a lawyer, okay, or a solicitor or someone who's got your back here, who's very much like understands the trials and tribulations that you've gone through specifically. And they're like, look, whatever you need, okay, I'm here for you. We can talk it out. Um, we can work through something together and make sure that we have... All the information that we need to be put out there and it's going to be done um very well here yeah king of cups cancer scorpio pisces aries leo sagittarius with that page of wands and this is your energy guys and your reading and look the tower came through aries and scorpio and look at this. You saw how all my cards literally were like hanging on by a thread and then they just fell like the tower here. You know, you had the lightning strikes. OK, and then it's all going to come crumbling down. But there's been a lot of anxiety or stress about something kind of, you know, occurring here. But look, don't worry about it here with the king of pentacles. You're going to be all right. Whatever is going down in your life, you're going to be OK. OK, yeah, temperance, beautiful. Everything is balancing out. And this is your energy, Sagittarius, with temperance coming through. Really, really love this. So obviously this is a general reading. Please only take me feel resonates. It's taken a while for something to physically um, show up here. Or I'm picking up on it's taken a long time to collect or gather evidence of sorts. Um, I'm definitely getting documents, paperwork, something like this. Um, you know, I'm getting a lot of... I'm getting a lot of uh, writing things down, typing things up. Yeah, two of cups, look. This is really, really lovely. The devil... Capricorn energy. What else here, please? Wow, five of wands. Wanting to fly out. Do you know what? It is weird because when I'm picking up on this energy, if you have been dealing with something legal, something to do with your career or to do with your finances, you've really gone through it, okay? You've definitely dealt with an ordeal. Somebody trying to make your life difficult here, okay, with that Capricorn energy. But I feel, look, your your innocent party in all of this with the page of cups. Some of you may be hoping for an apology um, from someone, but they're not going to they're not going to apologize. OK. They're not going to apologize. Yeah, with the moon, they're keeping that to themselves. Somebody, do you know what it is? I heard the word vendetta, like someone's got a vendetta against you or maybe a group of people, something to do with your work or your career here. You may have lost out financially with that five of pentacles. You may have been out of work here. You may have, um, you know, accumulated some sort of new debt or you had difficulties with getting of a job or you've just not been able to pay the bills that you would be able to usually um, because of something that you've been going through, 555 five, five may be significant, yeah, you felt trapped in something, you know, you've been over your head here, 
Um, yeah, look at that with a ten of wands feeling physically exhausted about something, but you've been trying to trust yourself with the high priestess that everything is going to work out for you. OK, and with the hand one, you've been waiting for things to just to play out. OK, yeah, Empress again coming through Taurus and Libra. This is all very specific, but this is definitely someone's message here. Just know that good news is coming in with that Knight of Swords, okay? But I feel like this devil energy isn't going to win. They're not. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Swords. Somebody may have tried to do something to taint your reputation here, okay? Or trying to control of a situation. Trying to manipulate of something to do with documents or emails, paperwork. Getting something to do with someone's work. Look, look at that with the Ten of Swords showing through. Emperor Energy. It could be to do with an authority figure or an boss here. But... feel like there's been a calculating energy around you and you've been kind of maybe even a little bit intimidated about something going down something happening here i'm hearing whether to pull out of something um but don't do it because look with the three of cups you're going to be successful you're going to be victorious if you were to just to kind of you know hold on in there yeah, because the world is closing up a cycle. This is something that's needed to be done here. I'm getting maybe even something karmic in nature. There's going to be this sense of like celebration if you really do follow through whatever it is that you need to. And stay strong, stay resilient. You can overcome this. You can overcome this particular obstacle if you are dealing with difficulties in your career um, or something legally. You know, don't worry about it. I'm picking up on two-faced energy as well. Yeah, as I effing say that with the two of swords, I mean, come on now. Look at that with the ace of wands. Something was really impacting you in that way. But I feel like you've really grown up through a, per a particular experience. Um, but I keep getting you're innocent. And you may have felt like hold back held back in some sort of way to do with your finances but also um you may have felt like something's just been hanging over your head type of thing and you've been feeling confused you've been feeling you know stressed out here um whether you're going to be able to put all of this whatever you're going through behind you or you just have to kind of you know carry on and persevere with it but i feel like something's closing out for you relatively soon yeah king of King of, um, wow, I nearly said King of Stability, goodness. Um, King of Pentacles, which is the sense of stability. Yeah, you're going to be receiving um, this lump sum. You're going to have that sense of being established. You're going to be able to walk away from whatever has been bothering you. Right, wow, okay, this is all very specific here, guys. What else is going on here? What else here? But you've definitely dealt with some sort of tyrant energy or a bully. I'm picking up on potential narcissism here or emotional manipulation, gaslighting. Okay. Yeah, look at that with the Ten of Wands. With the Seven of Swords, like I said to you, lying, gaslighting, you may have dealt with threats, um, you may have dealt with something that was just so wrong. Very underhanded, sneaky, covert energy here. Yeah, emotional manipulation. I feel like you're totally over it. You may have felt like you've not been able to kind of feel like your normal self here. But something is coming to an end. Yes, an Ace of Cups and a new beginning awaits you with that Ace of Cups wanting to come through. So I feel like whatever it is that you've been dealing with personally, you're going to be able to overcome what you need to. Yeah, you're going to be able to cut out certain people, places or things in your life. Maybe a chapter of your life. 
I'm hearing end of an era for some reason. And you're able just to then push on forward. And you're at the finish line of something coming up for you and completing. Yeah. But it has been weighing down on you. Interesting. Now, I want to touch up on love here. I want to touch up on what's going on in regards to love. Um, because I feel like it was very much heavy career, legal, finances. Um, but in love, you definitely have someone particular who is very much thinking about you a great deal. They desire something more. Um, yeah, with judgment, Sagittarius energy. There you are, guys. With the Page of Cups, I mean, look how poetic that was. Somebody does desire more with you. They want to come forward towards you. They're trying to manifest of this connection. Um, some of you could be dealing with someone already and you've just started off of something or you could already be in a commitment. If you're already in a commitment with someone, um, just know that you're on the right track with this person and that if you do have the odd difficulty in regards to a situation with your connection okay the odd mishap not to be overly concerned by that because i feel like you can resolve um most situations here yeah look at that strength card leo energy coming through with the king of wands aries leo sagittarius so yeah um whoever you're dealing with currently in a relationship if you are then they have your back and you have theirs that there's that strong sense of loyalty and a connection loyalty and love i'm hearing um, if this is somebody new, um, someone is very basically viewing you as, um, like the best thing since sliced bread. Okay. They know and feel that there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. They get very excited about the idea of this connection, um, wanting to see where things can go between the two of you. Um, the sensual energy in the bedroom is going to be fantastic, okay? Um, lots of passion here. Like, if this person and yourself haven't done all this, like, you know, being intimate with each other, um, then I feel like this person can't really hold out for too much longer, okay? <laughs> um, you know, but if this is someone who wants to come back around into your life and they're wanting to reconcile... They actually have their heart open to you, okay? They may have the odd fear, the odd doubt, like they may feel like a little bit insecure or, you know, have had issues with their confidence or they've maybe seen you as someone that is, um, I'm hearing too good for them for some reason. Um, they've been having to battle these kind of inner demons um, in regards to viewing you in that light, but actually you're probably both equals to each other. And this person has had some time to contemplate on your connection. And I feel ultimately they had to really come to terms with whether this was a, a lust based kind of infatuation type of connection or whether there was, you know, genuine, true love on the table. And I'm feeling that this person is recognizing, awakening, as it were, that it's not just all about the fact that you both kind of fancy each other or, you know, what have you. Um, I feel like there's a very strong spiritual connection here. I mean, honestly, guys, I'm kind of overwhelmed because we have the angel here, an angel here and an angel here. And I, I feel like this is very much divinely guided and supported for a reunion or a reconciliation for there to be a renewal and a new beginning closing out a chapter to do with maybe of a separation and expressing each you know express, expressing to each other the love that there is and that you're both wanting to take action in regards to moving this forward after you know a considerate amount of healing between the two of you as I just um, got that yeah it's manifesting in um, I'm hearing sooner than expected with that magician okay yeah, as I have been said that with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and, you know, um, this is fast-paced energy. But also I'm picking up on that there is someone who definitely thinks about you um, a lot here in a sensual way. And I'm picking up on O method, guys. I'm not going to lie, okay? They could be using of this or maybe you've been using of this, you know, purposely here. But if not, then it's like... 
when they have a moment to themselves and you know they're not going to be getting distracted what have you and like they think about you like that's just kind of manifesting you in as well because they're visualizing of this connection with you and them being together um I'm picking up on as well, if you haven't had a kiss with this person, like a first kiss, I don't feel like it will be long for you to wait until you're having of this. Yeah, with the world. Wow. So this person could be reaching out to you online and look at that, the four of wands. <laughs> um, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius with that world. And then we have the 1111 card here, twin flame energy, soulmate energy. This is coming through very, very strong. Um this person is seeing themselves, you know, marrying you one day, having of a family, announcing to loved ones there's a potential pregnancy here or that you're moving in together or what have you. But I feel like also there's someone who wants to take you away on a holiday. They've been daydreaming about what it would be like for you and them to spend just alone time with each other where you're not going to be um, dealing with a load of other people here look at that with the ace of swords absolutely like this person has definitely been thinking about that um, a great deal okay I'm picking up on something to do with the spring summer is going to be very very significant I know this is a next seven days reading but I'm picking up on things really changing for you spring summer time I'm hearing be prepared, get ready to be ready. Because I feel like whatever is coming in for you, you've kind of been anticipating, ex expecting it with some sort of excitement. But I feel like whatever is being delivered to you in regards to love is going to be far better than you could have ever possibly imagined. Um, Yeah, with the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you wanting to believe that things are going to be really great between you and someone. Um. But there may be the odd moment where you're like thinking on previous relationships that you've dealt with and that you may have felt a certain type of way. Um, you may have even been like, look, is love ever going to happen for me? Is it ever going to just, you know, be something that I will actually personally experience? And I'm here to tell you with that Knight of Cups, it is coming in. But you've definitely had to go through a lot here to I'm hearing learn the lesson of self-love as well but 10 10 coming through on the table so new beginnings coming in you've had to surrender and walk away from situations that haven't been serving you here in all areas of your life for you to be open and receptive to love yeah look at that the emperor coming through aries energy but divine masculine this person sees your strength they admire your strength, your resilience. With the Five of Cups, this person has this soft spot for you. They always have done. They've always felt like you're that special person. You know, the one that's always been on their mind here. As I say, that with the Page of Cups. And they have all these fond memories with you with the Six of Cups. And they're wanting you and them to get together. And they want to discuss, you know, certain things that they've went through. They want you to open up to them about what you've gone through. And... You know, this person is definitely making sure that, you know, you can fully trust them. They know that it's not going to be an overnight thing, okay? But they are really willing to, to put in the work on this connection. Yeah, because this is what they desire here with the Three of Cups. They want to give you sense of stability with that King of Pentacles. And this is going to shock you with the Tower, um, because I don't feel like you've ever really been in a very healthy connection before. But it's coming in for you. You're getting ready to fall in love or you're already in love with this person, but they've fallen in love with you, I'm hearing. Okay, it's turning up in your physical reality now with that three of um, pentacles with the three of cups. So 33 or 333 may be significant and there's going to be a lot to be smiling about here with that six of wands. And then we have the queen of pentacles and we saw the king of pentacles not so long ago. So someone is definitely thinking of a partnership with you. Okay, very serious here. This person's pretty successful right yeah 
But with the Page of Cups, they're coming in to show to you, look, you know, I, 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 I'm hearing I am a softy at heart, okay? I have gone through a lot. As I say that with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords, I've gone through a lot. I've learned through certain relationships and even though they were difficult to overcome, I've done a lot of work on myself and healing and I'm now ready to have genuine love in my life and you're the one that I want to be with, okay? All right, with the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands, yeah, this person's very attractive and they've had options in the past. Or they're like potentially a bit fearful that you may have a load of options, okay, because you're very attractive, like you're a catch here. But out of everyone that they've dealt with ever in their life, it's like you're the one that stands out. And if this person made you feel some sort of way where you had this impression that it was unrequited between the two of you or you didn't feel like this person felt the same way about you. They do feel the same way about you. Look at that with the Ten of Cups showing with the Hang One. This person just needed to take some time, okay? They needed to go through a few things. Pisces coming through with the um, Empress, Taurus and Libra. This person knows that you're the one that they want to be with. They know that you are the one that they want to settle down with. They know that you're the one that they want to build a legacy with, an empire with, okay? They, they've got that clarity now. But they've definitely gone through something um, significant here in regards to... Um, I'm hearing their, their soul journey, okay, which is quite deep here, but that's what I'm picking up on. But anyway, guys, it's all the kind of messages I'm picking up on for you today. Um, so obviously, I know this is a general reading, please only take me feel resonates and leave the rest. Um, but this was definitely someone's story. Um, there was a lot of different types of messages that came through. And I wouldn't normally kind of, you know, put down extra cards, but I just felt guided to do so. So that's what I did. Um, but the signs that I called out may be significant for your sun, moon, rising or Venus placements for yourself or your love interest in regards to the love messages or maybe anyone else that you're dealing with in regards to um, what we were touching upon earlier in regards to career or legal implications, etc., but um, 111, 11, 11, 10, 10, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 33. Um, yeah, I just realised that, guys. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, because we have the 21 here, which is the world, which if you break that down um, to numerology, you've got the 2 and the 1. That's a 3. And then we have 3, 3, 3. Very, very significant here as well. Um, 4, 4, 4, 8, 8, 8, 1, 1, 1. Is coming through a lot too. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of your reading. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you today. And if you have enjoyed this reading and you wish to support myself and the channel, there are donation links now available. So thank you so much to those of you who've already done this. I greatly appreciate you guys. If you wish to uh, donate, there's a link in the description box below for a PayPal for the channel. And there's also super thanks as an additional option that's listed underneath of this video. So thank you so much to those of you who've already done this. It means a great deal to me. Um, even if you don't uh, financially donate, a great way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll get back to you with those comments when I can. So thank you so much. Please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you so you don't miss out on updates to do with the channel or new content. And uh, thank you to my members. You guys mean a lot to me. And if you wish to be a member, there's a link in the description box below for that and all the information that you need in regards to this. But this has been your next seven days timeless reading for Sagittarius placements. And if you did want to check out the Valentine special bonus reading, um, that is also available on the channel um, for your viewing pleasure. OK, so anyway, guys, sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Please take care and speak soon. Bye now.